Mitch Daniels' claim to fame as a potential Republican presidential candidate is that he's the guy who called for a truce on social issues in the Republican Party. He famously says that the Republican Party should give up its crusade on divisive social issues and just instead focus on fiscal matters. Just focus on budgets. That's why he gets taken so seriously in the Beltway, because he says things about how serious he feels about fiscal issues, even though he was George W. Bush's budget director and therefore only narrowly avoided personally proverbially drowning in red ink. But regardless, Mitch Daniels saying, let's talk dollars and cents, let's not talk God's guns and gays, at least not now. That is his claim to fame as a potential Republican candidate for president. Well, now Mitch Daniels is governor of Indiana. And the legislature there just voted to defund Planned Parenthood entirely. That would actually cost the state about $4 million to do because they would lose all sorts of federal matching funds, not to mention all the extra disease in the state and unwanted pregnancies and late discoveries of people having cancer. Uh, so Mitch Daniels has a dilemma. He wants to be famous for saying budgets are more important than stuff like fighting about abortion. And now he's got a fighting about abortion bill on his desk that would add millions to his state's budget deficit. What does he do? He's got a week to decide. And the anti-abortion movement has the whole rest of his life to make him miserable in the Republican Party.